On Saturday, November 7th, Mixed Martial Arts, better known as MMA, returns to CBS Primetime with the biggest name in the sport, Fedor Emelianenko. And the best part for sports fans, it's not on pay-per-view, it's on CBS. And the timing couldn't be better. Oh, this is definitely a win-win for CBS and MMA. For CBS, this is the key demographic. All the men, all the kids, and all the young girls are watching mixed martial arts. And this is where we've been waiting to be for a long time, have a home on a primetime network. Oh, he dropped him with a double leg! Emelianenko, a Russian MMA fighter, lives a secluded life shrouded in mystery. He's known to most as simply Fedor. He's not big, not imposing, but with a record of 30 and 1, he's the world's number one heavyweight. Fedor Malenko is the best fighter I've ever seen, and I've been covering mixed martial arts for 10 years now. A guy who will find your weakness and devour it. He has beaten every single style and every single opponent. He is the, the answer to the question, who's the best? To tell the truth, usually what I think, I can see uh, disadvantages or weak points of my opponents, and certainly this is what I try to use during my fights and during my training. Fedor lives and trains in seclusion in a small Russian mining village. I don't think Fedor likes doing press. Uh, it's not particularly his interest, but he lets, he lets what he does speak first. I think what Fedor puts out there and the way he is, it's really what MMA is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about somebody bearing their soul when they get in the cage. Fedor's opponent on November 7th is undefeated heavyweight sensation Brett the Grim Rogers, who earlier this year was changing tires at a Sam's Club in Minnesota. Rogers stands six feet five inches tall and weighs 265 pounds, and this modern day Rocky has the shot of a lifetime. Fedor is arguably the top guy in the world, but Rogers is the next top guy in the world. Inside the ring, I love hitting people. He recognizes that this is his moment, and he feels prepared for it. It's almost destiny. I respect Fedor as Fedor, but he's just another man in my eye. And uh, when it comes down to it, you know, we're just going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and see who wants it the most. I think that Brett Rogers has very good feeling of the distance. He has great punch, great knockout punch, and he's very strong opponent. Both fighters attack their opponents in very different ways. Fedor is sort of a sniper. He, he waits for his moment and then just goes for it. He is someone who goes in for the finish and usually gets it. So I would think that there's going to be a clash early on, uh, a pretty violent one. The people out there that are saying, oh, he doesn't, he doesn't deserve it, he's not ready yet. They haven't seen what I've seen. That guy can fight. It's a huge fight. I mean, he's technically a guy, you know, to the sport of MMA. My name is the Grim, so I mean, hey, I'm gonna be the sole snatcher that night because I'm not giving him no leeway on nothing. I'm owning him when it comes to the cage. Precision versus power. Two very different men, two very different philosophies, only one winner. You're gonna see fireworks. Somebody is going down.